Hey, Jessie here. Today I am going to cut my hair. Um, it's gotten very long. I'm gonna measure it to see how long. You see, it's 12 inches plus like here. 18 inches, so a lot of hair. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure the longest I've had it. It's probably down to like here. Some probably like four more inches. But I was gonna go get it colored and I wanted to get it dyed purple. But then I found out you have to refresh it like every two weeks because the, apparently the dye starts washing out right away. And currently my hair is way too low maintenance to deal with that, so I'm just going to cut it. And uh, my hairdresser has like a really long wait, so I was like, I'm just going to cut it myself. And this is my first time cutting it. Last time I cut my hair, I also cut it, but that was the first time I ever cut it. And it was because it was at the beginning of uh, the COVID. It was our first like lockdown, so there's no hair places open. So I was like, guess I'll just cut it myself. It's feeling spontaneous, and it went okay. So hopefully it goes okay this time, because if not, I'll freak out, and then I'll go get an appointment with my hairdresser. But the good thing about having this much hair is if I screw it up, I only have to take off a little bit more to, <laughs> to fix it, and I'll still have tons of hair left. <laughs> but I do not like short hair, so hopefully I <laughs> don't mess it up, because I, I... But yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to take off like this much... I will show you how I do it, and we'll do it, and hopefully it all goes good. Okay, so here are our tools for the job. First we have uh, scissors, and these are specifically for cutting hair. They aren't like just regular craft scissors or something like that. Uh, you can just pick these up at like Walmart or Meyer for like equal to or less than the cost of a haircut. So if you're gonna cut your own hair, uh, when I did research about cutting my own hair last time, uh, they highly suggest getting scissors meant for cutting hair. But I haven't cut it with like regular scissors, so I can't say what the quality difference is. Um, hairbrush, and then small and big hair ties, which uh, are fundamental to the method I use to make everything straight. Okay, so let's get started. Um, First uh, thing you have to do is part your hair where you want it. And I think it's already where I want it, but I'm gonna part it in the same spot again. Just make sure everything is on the right side. And then in the back, just go, I could actually go down the center, not where the part is, because I want equal hair on each side and I pull it to the front so that there's no hair in the back. And then I take my big hair ties, one of each. I'm gonna start with this side. Make sure you get all of it. And just put that I feel like that. I'm gonna make sure you get the rest of the hair on this side. Make sure you're not missing any. And you're gonna want these to line up. So, yeah. So once these are, you want them in the same spot on each side. And that's just to hold your hair in place so that when this isn't going everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take, I want the same colors. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and then you're gonna take two of these smaller ones. And I'm not, I still have to decide where, how far I'm cutting it. Okay, let me think. I'm thinking like here. Oh gosh, so it's scary. Doing that far, okay. Ah, oh, that's so much hair though. Okay, maybe a little lower. Oh, I just don't know. 
Okay. And then, <laughs> and so you'll do this one on this side. And again, these need to be at the same height. So you're gonna you can just pull them together. And I'll keep looking in the mirror because I need to make sure. There we go. And that's close enough. They always do that in salons where they like pull it together and I guess that's all they're doing it. Except for they don't have the ponytails because they're just like geniuses and can just see it in their head or something. <laughs> and then I just cut straight across. Oh gosh, <laughs> scary part. Okay, too much hair. And it's written, my hair is super thick, so I'm probably gonna have to do this in parts a bit. Oh my goodness, I should get the trash can. Just put it in there. There we go. I'm kind of having to saw it a little bit just because my hair is so thick. It's not agreeing with me. <laughs> it doesn't want to leave my head. Ah! Oh my goodness. Look at that! <laughs> it's like what I find when I. Oh crap. The ponytail just came out. Well, I was going to even it off a little more, so <laughs> that's a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to put one in tighter and slide it down. Problem solving. <laughs> and since that happened over there, I'm going to, before it happens again over here, I'm going to make this one tighter. Okay. And then I'm just going to. I'm just gonna pull it out now. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I totally messed it up. Okay, that's okay. I'm just going to even it out. your haircut? Perfect! <laughs> Good boy! Here you go! Okay, so I did some work in post. <laughs> I had my mom uh, trim some of it up that I couldn't reach in the back and I messed with it a little more. Uh, so it looks okay definitely did not go as well as last time last time i was like dying this looks good this time I'm like eh, <laughs> i should have gone to the hairdresser but <laughs> but um i definitely will next time <laughs> uh i also think i made it too short i didn't want it this short but it does feel nice and light and airy so I do like that um so yes uh but my mom said my hairdresser is gonna watch this and so I'm sure the whole time she's gonna be screaming at me about all the things I uh did wrong <laughs> but I'm gonna see how short it did end up coming out so Okay, so it looks like it's almost, maybe just a tad, I think it's like, thir this is like 13 inches, so that means it took off 
five inches. That's not even that, that doesn't even sound like a lot, but it looks so different. Crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, should you cut your hair? Uh, if you're, only if you will not freak out if it turns to shit. <laughs> Otherwise, go see someone. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great day. It is I, Milo. This is my mom's voice. But you are very fooled that this is me, Milo. Is this not the best outro ever? It's okay. You can be jealous.